cold in the trunk. I'm back. Road Rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Road Squadron. Okay, so last night I'm watching the Rule of Two. Super Shield Mark Riley and renowned CEO of Collider and Disney Star Wars hater Mark Fernandez. Okay, a lot of people don't know that Mark Fernandez cannot stand Disney Star Wars movies. Okay, his biggest, uh, his favorite property is Vader Immortal, the VR game. He they put a, a very interesting rule of two out yesterday. Okay, and I like watching those videos because I like hearing people talk about Star Wars theories and what might happen and what could happen. And his theory was that Bob Iger. Put the George Lucas betrayal admission in his book as a public, open acknowledgement and apology to George Lucas. And at first, I was like, oh, come on. But after thinking about it, I'm like, I made a video the other day saying, what was Bob Iger's endgame? The fact is... That is the only actual explanation I've heard anybody give. Because other than that, or a complete lack of self-awareness by Bob Iger and or Lucasfilm, which would surprise nobody, it's not a terrible reach. And the theory behind this, according to Mark Fernandez, is that Kevin Feige has been hired by Disney to make George Lucas's trilogy. I was like, whoa, okay. That came out of nowhere. He said, because you're putting a powerhouse, known, proven, massive producer behind a story that on the screen will say, story created by George Lucas, written by George Lucas. And Fernandez, Fernandez his theory was, Feige created the MCU with Stan Lee when Stan Lee was alive, okay? He was alive for many, many years from back when Iron Man started and that Feige and George Lucas could also work step in step the way Feige and Stan Lee did in building the MCU. They could rebuild Star Wars. And you may be thinking, well, they're not going to remake a, a sequel trilogy. Uh his theory was they would remake it, but they would remake it and put it so far in the future that it would separate itself from uh, the old characters and the current sequel trilogy characters. Okay. So, in, in other words, and evidently it would theoretically ignore what has happened in this sequel trilogy that we've got currently this is going to finish with the rise of skywalker look people this is out in left field speculation but i did want to give my thoughts on it it is not a terrible idea feige with lucas step in step the same way feige and stan lee worked step in step in building the MCU they could rebuild Star Wars and Iger's book admission was a public acknowledgement of him fucking things up with George Lucas in the way that he did and that was him putting putting it out there look George I fucked it up let's repair this thing and we will honor you by making this sequel trilogy that you originally wrote treatment. This is speculation, folks, but I think it is, I think it's interesting, okay? I think this is the, the, the side of Star Wars that can be interesting and that I like to talk about. Things that could, yeah, this could be a possibility. It could be. Um on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 2, okay? But I found it to be very interesting, and I wanted to share it with the Rogue Squadron, right? Because I know some of you don't watch Collider. 
you know, because of the shield aspect of it, and I get that, but I also know Mark Fernandez hates Disney Star Wars, okay? So there is value from that show right now. You tell me what you think, Road Squadron. Could Kevin Feige be getting ready to produce Lucas's sequel treatment? Fernandez seems to believe that Star Wars is about to get rebooted. You know, he claims that he doesn't have any inside information, but we know that a lot of people with Collider know a lot of people with Lucasfilm, particularly Harloff and Filoni. So, peace. I'm out. Till next time.